In this bustling electronics market in Kabul, Osama bin Laden in death still looms large. In the winding back alleys, stores sell DVDs of the slain al-Qaeda leader. They are not on prominent display, instead kept at the back of the shop. Our local producer does the negotiating and the DVDs are handed over for less than two US dollars. So we've been searching for about half an hour now and this is what we've found. No shortage of videos depicting conflict here in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in Pakistan featuring the likes of Saddam Hussein, the Taliban and of course Osama bin Laden himself. The videos date back over several years. They show the power and reach bin Laden had, a symbol for militants from Iraq to Afghanistan. Because bin Laden for so long appeared almost invincible to these people, some here still refuse to accept he is dead. I can't believe he's dead, this man says, because I've heard these stories before. If he was supposed to be killed once, how can I believe he is dead again? Others question the photos circulating of bin Laden's body, already widely dismissed as fake. The United States is refusing to officially release images, fearing they could incite anger and be used by al-Qaeda as propaganda. As I saw his photo on the TV, this man says his eye was damaged and his beard was the same. I believe 80% that it was Osama bin Laden. As for the Taliban, they say they want more proof that the man they once sheltered is really dead. But as these images on the DVDs still widely on sale show, Bin Laden's message to militants lives on. Stan Grant, CNN, Kabul.